Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of our Basel 4 channel. Today we will have a look at a number of tools that we can use to calculate the potential impact of Basel 4 on risk-weighted assets. And the tool that I'm going to present to you today is the SACCR calculator tool. As you will all know, the SACCR is the Basel Committee's proposal for a revised standardized approach to calculate exposure at default for derivative transactions, which will in the future replace the current exposure method as well as the current standardized approach and will be used not only for the calculation of risk-rated assets, but for the large exposure regime, leverage ratio, and probably a number of other regulatory ratios as well. The tool that I'm going to present to you today is a very simple Microsoft Access-based tool. And before we have a look at the actual tool, I will show you the impact file that we use to feed data within this tool. So one second, I will open the input file and here it is. You can see it is a very simple Excel file in which we input transactions according to the asset classes. In this example, you can see both interest rate and FX asset classes as well as a separate sheet so without information in this case, for margin agreements. Of course, the tool also covers all other asset classes such as equity risk, credit risk, or commodity derivatives. Now, let me close the input file and start the tool itself. As I just said, it is a Microsoft Access-based tool, and it is rather easy to handle, as you will see in a second. What we have to do here is first to define for which asset classes we want to perform our calculation. The next step is to open the input file, which I have just shown to you. You can see that the input file is um, imported into the tool in a rather short amount of time. And then all you have to do is start the calculation. And then you can have a look at the results for the calculations performed, for example, by counterparty or by asset class. You also have the possibility to look at certain details, uh, certain results in more detail. For example, we look here at the interest rate derivatives where you can see a number of intermediary calculations, market values, supervisory adjustments, until in the end the EAD for this derivative is calculated. As I just said, all the other asset classes can be calculated as well, and the effects of margining agreements, netting agreements, and all the other parameters required for the SACCR calculation can also be input into the tool. And of course, the results being produced by the tool can be tailored to your needs. For example, we included here a very simple graphic that shows the exposure at default by counterparty. Of course, it would also be possible to show results by risk class, by asset type, and by a number of other parameters. The SACCR tool is rather simple to use, but also powerful. It has been used for derivative portfolios covering several thousand different positions, and it can calculate these positions within a very limited time. Also, you can see here a number of general settings that can be used to change, for example, the alpha factor or the floor value. And the tool is also able to calculate, for example, the modified SACCR that will be used as part of the future leverage ratio. If you have any questions regarding the tool, do not hesitate to contact us on our Global Battle for homepage or join PwC's Battle for channel to get the latest news on all the initiatives by the Battle Committee. Thank you. Thank you.